Hello everyone and welcome to Factorium. I'm Par and uh, today I'm gonna be playing my Sibla game. Let's see. In the previous episode I remember what happened. I remember what happened. Uh, we fixed the slack and we noticed that we are very very short on charcoal. Let's uh, fix this as soon as possible. What um, do we need? We are using charcoal for this thing, for this, and this. Mm. It's output, right? So we also export in some charcoal from over there. I am not sure how much charcoal we actually need, but uh, we should be able... So this is cobalt. I think... I'll be staying on cobalt, right? And if that is the case, I could build one right here. We could get a belt of charcoal from there, and I'll just drag it, and from here. Let's do this, let's uh, build the thing. This one, sit cobble right? Uh, like that. Yes. No, wait. This looks wrong. Mm. I want to copy this part. No. I want to copy things here. That means that we need such setup. We'll rotate it a bit. And place things here just like that. Right. Put going like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice. It's one. Charcoal are uh, we need to and uh, station. Here we'll have another charcoal. Like this. One, two. I guess. Right in the middle. Like this two charcoal blocks. Could we like build a couple more here? Would it make sense? Build a couple more. Do this for now. Let's see. If if I were to copy this thing, rotate it, for example, like that, and paste it here and here, would it fit or, or, or not? Uh, not quite. Not quite. Doesn't quite fit. What should I do? I mean... I probably want to move everything up. A little bit, and we'll be able to produce a lot of charcoal here. Let's let's do this. Let's say I would like to move these belts a little bit higher, like this. This part move up, Something like that. Like this. Nice. Let's try again. Let's copy this part. Copied it. Good. Now we should place things like this. One. Here we have to. Oh, look at this. I think that's perfect. This is perfect. 
remove the spot, plug it down like that. Um, Now, from this side, I can get charcoal, sand, or the other direction, wrong direction. Okay, now we are there. It will send it forward. This thing can also be sent over there. Okay, we need to have a provider station on the side, right? Um, okay. Uh, removed. Oh, look at this. I, I feel... I feel like you don't need some charcoal like that. We can do it like this instead. Just turn it. Yep. This is gonna be our charcoal. And we'll send it like this. On to. Okay, good. Six. Here we need to add um, these things. Um, Now we need to put the belt here and here. Let's do this. There's one belt. There's another belt. But we need to specify the priority. Priority here is to send circle to the right. Right, where is this? Thing happening, I think it's somewhere above with um, cobalt. Right? No, wait, cobalt is not there, it's below. <laughs> cobalt is below. Let's do this. Uh, I didn't like how aluminium looked here for a moment. What's, what's wrong with this? Nitrogen. This is nitrogen. We don't get enough charcoal. Why is that? Oh, actually, I have another idea. We could have uh, reused the slag in order to produce uh, lots and lots of charcoal. Yeah, may maybe that um, would would have been a better thing to do. But I. I also like our our plan with um, with the slag because at least what we what we did now, well in the previous episode, it um, more or less guarantees that uh, in the previous episode it uh, pretty much guarantees that uh, we will always have some some slag so here. Other priorities to the right. This is the important part. Charcoal is just a bonus. And... Um, Alright. Delete this thing and delete it. And... and um, substation. Good, now. How are we gonna call this? We'll call it... Uh, cobalt ingots. Output of charcoal. And the reason I'm gonna calling it cobalt ingots is because I want to be able to find the station and, and, and that's that's the way to find the station this is uh, output output one 
output. So, just like this. Good. And uh, we. Wait, why do we have. Right. Here, we need to say that it's a provider. And. Uh, yeah, priority is actually minus one for this one. If we have uh, another source of charcoal, that one is better. This is just a kind of station that tops up. Um, that tops up our uh, Altium. System. Okay, here, here we have it. We are actually spending all charcoal on the cobalt. That's good. This is good. Stuff works. Not exactly how we want it to work, because we need to upgrade the models here to high tiers. But it's it's not that bad, you know. If you look at uh, charcoal production and let's say consumption. Oh no, this is this is the wrong way to measure this. Because we were producing lots of charcoal, but all the charcoal was consumed. It was going it was like a local charcoal production. We're interested specifically in this like one, two, three and a little bit, but right now zero, so three of these blocks. Let's put this fixed. I think that's good enough. I think we fixed charcoal, haven't you? Yeah, we did it. We fixed charcoal. Um, what should we do in today's episode? I think. I would like to fix naphtha. Have naphtha, and well, we like don't really have it. This to why so short on them? Okay, I guess we just are not producing more. I, 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 I guess, I guess it's okay. Let's go. Let's go take a look at um, our current station at Naphtha. We are exporting it. Oh, but the problem was with charcoal, wasn't it? This block, when we looked at it last time, it needed charcoal and it wasn't getting it. And since it's not getting charcoal, it cannot do anything here, and it cannot, uh, uh, cannot produce naphtha because it doesn't have synthesis gas in synthesis gas. Wait, not, not this one. This one. We get it from carbon monoxide. Yeah, so this is uh, like this really relies on charcoal. We have to uh, start exporting it from over, over here. I'm not sure about 100 foot four. Wait, this provider? Stations. Yes, looks like a provider. Okay, fine. Um, let's think what we do next. What is this? I'll we'll just go somewhere. We have planes on the way somewhere or not. I don't understand whether our trains are stuck somewhere or whether everything's fine. The trains are running here, that's good. They're probably. Oh no, they're not running there. This one is coming to the depot. 
Here's another one. Okay, here's another one. Good. So the strains are fine. The strains are probably busy. Doing, let's see. Um, this is not good. Alright, it's happening right over there. Let's find that spot. That spot is uh, here. Do we have any other issues with the trains? I'll just try to observe. I don't see any problems, to be honest. I don't see any problems, so let's pretend uh, there are no problems. Now, this whole part, I kind of want to remove it. This two, this two, and this two stations. Maybe we'll do it later. Maybe we'll do it later. For now, let's do the following. Let's say, right, we need Naptha for research. Let's give this thing a tiny priority. Like one. Just a tiny one. We want our first charcoal to be delivered here, basically. That, that's pretty much what we are saying. Nice. Next. Let's get back to this block. So we started figuring out how we want uh, to proceed with rubber, but we have not really come up with anything. Let's see. We need to produce a lot of synthesis gas. That's actually not a lot. But we are producing synthesis gas from residual gas and directly. So we basically have like a production of synthesis gas and then we have two consumptions of it. Why are we consuming it here? We are consuming it to produce naphtha. So we want synthesis gas for naphtha, which will require copper ore and iron ore. And another usage would be this one to get this thing, that this will require gold and titanium. So in theory, in theory, I could be producing synthesis gas here. Right, I could be producing synthesis, well, not even synthesis, synthesis gas, and then from it, whatever it's used for. I could be producing it right here. Let's, let's, um, Oh, and we have, we have charcoal moved out over there. And we have charcoal here. So that's nice. We have charcoal on this side. Let's try to start. Like, let's do something. Let's just do something. This part. We need a lot of steam. We need basically a whole thing just to produce steam. And then also carbon. And we'll need this carbon. To produce synthesis gas. Do we need carbon for anything else? Oh, and we need a little bit for that. Well, a little bit for rubber can be produced on the rubber side, I think. And I guess the part for steam can also be produced on that side. And here we could produce whatever we need for this part, which is probably this line. Okay, there are two things that are happening. The residual gas, we're producing it there a little bit. We're producing a lot of it when creating plastic. But plastic is created from methane. It's kind of on the other side. This is the most basic one. Let's 
Okay, we also have this part with purified water. Maybe I should build it kind of separately because we have one block or, or not. It's like these two between themselves, they have more than 7,000. How? It is pretty much the whole thing. What are good ways of producing purified water? I don't think that's a good one. Maybe, maybe it is. Can you produce steam? Oh, damn it. Can you produce steam using like electrical boiler or something? But it almost feels like a waste of power to use electrical boiler. To use this thing. I'm not sure the amount is large enough. Yeah. Right, let's um let's go here. This no not here, this line. We oh no. No 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 no. That's that's too much. Seventeen. How can we do can we put them here? How much is that? Eighteen. Oh Okay. Okay. That's good. I like what I see. I like what I see. Okay. We got 17. We don't need any beacons for this so far. Uh, I'm like crowding them approximately. Because you can always fix these things by adding a couple more beacons. At least I think we can fix them. Have to see. This part. Electrolyzer. I want to actually use beacons for that. Maybe a bad idea. Or two. 30 beacons. Is this a bad idea to use beacons for this thing? Then we could use beacons for this thing. Or we could make it... Um... No, we could make it a little bit nicer. We could do like this. We could have... This one's placed. Um, they will figure out how we will be placing them, and then we could have two lines of this going on one side. Maybe even on the other side. Not sure about two lines, but I just want to understand. So, if you are doing it like this, then we have um, we have like one have from here to here. So it's uh, fourteen. It's twenty-eight. It is. 28 beacons. 28, just from like on nothing basically. Here we could also have like easily 28. Means that we would have 3 here and 4 here. We could make it like 4 4. It's fine, right? We could have 4 electrolyzers, but we care only about hydrogen. We could produce three, you know. That's, that's also an option. We could have. We have how much? We, have, we, have, we would have to transport 1.9 thousand. That's, that's not a lot, to be honest. It's not a lot. Okay, so let's 
fix the bug. We are going for four of these plants and three electrolyzers. So, to me, to me, looks like what we want. We want something like this. That's how it looks to me. Okay, I might be wrong, obviously, but like. This is basically the build. And the best part is that these steam crackers, they could also benefit from exactly the same amount, right? Which is, uh, I think it was 28. Right, 14 times 2. Uh, yes or no? Well... I actually built this a little bit more compact than I had to. We don't need to do it like this. We can make it. We, we can leave a little bit more room in between. No harm in that. Oh, I just. A bunch of those. And what would all of this mean? We would have to. Clarify the oxygen. So let's assume, let's assume that having a single flare stack here would be enough to get rid of all this oxygen. We don't really need oxygen for anything, uh, do we? No, we we are not we are not consuming oxygen. We do need to transfer a lot of synthesis gas. So this could be a bit of a problem because this build the way. Oh no, it's not a problem because we directly transform it into these other gases. And the numbers here are much lower, right? It's like 900, 900. Very easy to transport. 2.8. This is not easy to transport, but we can uh, potentially like convert it into something like directly across here. Right? So this is synthesis gas. We have to produce it through this process and this process. And this process gives us much more synthesis gas than this one. So I probably should prioritize this one. I should place it closer. If we give this thing 28, or you know, give it 14, just on one side. We need four. Just four steam crackers are gonna be enough for us. And we have four here. We're in luck. Um, the only problem is that we don't have uh, green ones at this moment. For whatever reason, I, well, I know because we never set up stuff to work with them. Um, work with uh, like black, black circuits but th the thing is we, we don't really need it. it's like it's whatever gonna be fine whatever we do good um, we, have? we need the water we need purified water how much purified water do we need right we need this thing Purified water. I think that's the way. We'll have some saline water. It's unfortunate, but um, I guess fine. If we have the same 14, we actually might have a little bit of a better coverage. We need three of the plants. Well, 3.3. So that's that's actually not bad. It's actually not bad at all. Let's. Let's think. I could move this one to the side. You know, this one's will also move to the side. We'll have thing flowing directly. From this side, I think. We'll be going directly there. This part will work like this. That's a hydrogen that we're getting but we need to 
kind of make it all a little bit more even. Like that, probably. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, or whether it's gonna work at all. Well, it is gonna work at all, uh, somehow, right? It is gonna work somehow. The question is how well. One, two, three, four. So we have four of this. We are kind of sending stuff right across. Now, I could... Uh, we need three... Well, we need four hydro plants. How many... Beacons do we need? 18 beacons, for example. And then three are totally enough. Okay, good. So that means that we can, like, very, very easily beacon them by doing, like, something... Placing some beacons on the other side or in between or... Whatever, whatever we want, basically. There are lots of options available to us. Right, I would like to... Oh, it's a lot of saline water. Can we get rid of saline water? Kind of right there. Like this. Or do we need two? Okay, it, it might be a bit tricky. Make this work or not. Um, we could send this to... Which I don't know. Uh, let's say uh, left, middle, right. That process, let's take a look. What are we actually getting there? Left, methane. Middle ethane, right? Butane. So I actually don't want this. Stuff. I want this to to be sent to, to the left. It's just 900 per second, so we can easily take the output no, on this side. Very, very easy. Oh, not like this. Like that. Very easily. And we'll have to figure something out with this one. Which would mean... Which would mean that... Um, it's actually potentially tricky. Um, so... I mean, I think we could do something like that, maybe. I don't know. It's a good idea. Not quite. And. Like that. We copy it. Very, very interesting. How much water do we need? Oh no, not 11,000 water. No, this, this is not the way. It's too much water needed. We'll, we'll have to rethink that part. We'll have to rethink how we'll be supplying it with the, all, all this. Need to rethink how we'll be supplying the part with the water. Right, but um, let's look at plastic. What do we want to do with this? I think we want to convert it into methanol. Let's, let's take it back. <laughs> it's hot. I'm having difficulties like thinking about everything that's going on. 
Um, good news. We don't have shortage of charcoal anymore. That's that's great. This thing. Are we producing them? We need to constantly keep an eye on this process because it proved to be um, not quite reliable. And I don't trust it anymore. Let's see, iron. It's okay. We don't have jivalite. That's surprising. Oh, wait. We are producing jivalite. It's good. This thing has some slag. This one has some slag. I mean, it all kind of makes sense. Actually, I am interested in the following. If you look at Slack, how much have we produced in the last hour? 3.2, and we consume 3.5. Okay, this, this is good. Uh, lately, we are consuming more Slack than we are producing. It's perfect. Now, what I'm thinking here, Maybe we shouldn't have this many beacons. Maybe we should come back here and say that, you know, we'll have 14 beacons, 7 on each side. And then, and then we'll need 5 of those. And here if we have 14 beacons, I will need 7. It's kinda nice. In this part, with seven beacons on the other side. Um, okay, seven. It's kind of a lot. So basically eight. We'll have eight here. We'll have seven of this. Basically eight of this. So we will like double the build, but we'll make it more compact. And we'll make the pipes longer, which is probably not... No, no, okay. We'll make... Right. Okay, here's the idea. We'll make the build longer. We'll make the build longer. And this will give us more space for the... For the uh, purified water production. Yep. Because if we have. Wait. Fourteen. Fourteen. If we have five of this, so let's say six, or even seven, you know, we could have one to one connection here. We don't even need to have this thing. Yeah, you know what? Let's we'll just not do this can have this kind of build oh, placed like this and the like really the only thing we care about here to make it work is we need oh, we're going for seven here right so seven let's remember this seven of this ones we need seven electrolyzers that means that for water we want to have seven of this. We go fourteen, and seven of this means that each just needs to be connected to two water pumps. Two. No, we need like four. Five. Five beacons. Basically nothing. Um, and it should be, hopefully. Pretty straightforward to clarify that. Right, we have like five of them out, however many we need right there. Let's see, we can place this thing here, this one here. We'll move everything a little bit lower, right? Like this. That's purified water that we'll be producing. It's, it's, it's gonna work, just like that. I think that's perfect. Now, um, it's not only about this process, is it? It's a little bit more complicated because we need to produce uh, synthesis gas not only through this part where we actually need eight 
and not seven. But let, let's say we'll have seven. We'll round it down. We'll add a couple of beacons somewhere, like in between or whatever. And here, this process. It also wants water. only half of that then maybe we should have uh, been doing this separately maybe I should calculate this thing here separately so if we go for two of this You know, basically means that we, we, we can have just one input. But if we can have one input, maybe we can have a little bit um, better design here. Right, let's say that this purified water goes only directly. It goes there only directly, we don't care about anything else. That's what happens uh, over there. Now, what do we need? to do here. I would probably want to move all of this like that, a little bit to the side, and and probably right, this process. We need some purified water for this thing, just a little bit. Uh, how many beacons? Oh wait, we are not going for 40 beacons. We are going with 7 beacons now. Don't we? 7 beacons means that... Oh, we need 20, that's not good. What if we had 14 beacons? Okay, 7 beacons... Was calculated incorrectly. Okay, this part looks good. Okay, we'll need 7 of this. And this path, you need seven as well. So it's like one to one, pretty much. Like a approximately one to one. I, I like that. This path, this path. I mean, you could make all of this like one to one. I, I feel. Right. Let's take a look at this part. How would it even work? So we are sending stuff, let's say. Well, here is the thing. I would prefer this part to be placed here. And this one will be here. Like that. Now, we would need Probably we, we can move this forward like this, and I would like to have electrolyzer. Providing the stuff, but it has to be in reach of these beacons. It is in reach of the beacons, and we need seven beacons. It is gonna be in reach of seven beacons. It produces some uh, oxygen. We do not want the oxygen. Do we need liquefier? Like that. It will take in carbon. We need 24 carbon. We can just grab it. We could, we could have a belt delivering this carbon or something in between the belts whatever let's delete this whole part copy this ones I just want to see and you know, get a feel how much space we have okay this is not enough space I think can we fit it somehow in between? No, not like this. But um, it should be possible to, to do it somehow. Let's let's just let's just think. Just need to think a little bit. 
and purified water. What we are producing above is enough purified water for everything. Right? I mean, if not, we can become it up to be enough. So let's say we are producing enough purified water from above. Oh, but we cannot share it. A bit easier. Or we can get some from below. Wait, why, why do I have this thing? I'm confused. We have these electrolyzers. We could share hydrogen from them. Hey, what is going on? Producing a little bit of residual gas here, a little bit here, a lot here. Well, getting plastic. So residual gas will kind of—it's not infinite, but we'll have a lot of it. So we have residual gas here. This path needs 1.9. That's four electrolyzers. And this path. Steam. Right, this one. By six electrolyzers. This one requires four electrolyzers. Seven beacons, and here with seven beacons, four. So in total, it's like ten. If we are going for seven, I believe, right? We have, or oh, maybe eight. Seven or eight. We could go for eight for like round numbers or whatever. Mm. This means, it means that we need a little bit more electrolyzers than. What we have here. We could add one more to the side. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we should think about this line as a separate from this one. Because if that is the way we are thinking about it, then we need a seven. It it's exactly the same number that we have above. Okay, we don't actually need that. Okay, we, we, we do. We do. So we can... We are going for seven, right? And then one. So we basically need just um, two beacons covering it. And we need this thing, this electrolyzer. Let's try to fit it. So let's say this is the electrolyzer. It's producing some hydrogen, and this hydrogen will be using it pretty much immediately. Oh no. Well, quite interesting. Very, very interesting stuff going on. What's happening here?
What is this? Carbon monoxide. Okay, how about we do things a little bit differently? Okay, let's try to build a really nice kind of build here. We have something like this. This one could be providing hydrogen. Oh. It's the only way. I mean, it could be done like this. Not ideal, but not, I guess, not, not too bad, probably. Then we'll need purified water. Somewhere from here. It's a lot of space, a lot of vertical space that we don't have here. Let's think. We will have something like that. And we need purified water sent to both of this. Which means that this routing is not good. It's not good at all. Let's let's try to do it again. Let's try again. Have this put here. We'll have let's say we'll have one here. We are immediately voiding oxygen. Yeah. Uh, immediately voiding oxygen. Like that, and we have this process. Like this. Is this better? I, I think this might be it. This might be exactly what we've been looking for. Stand this part connected. Okay, nice. I th I think that's what we want to do. At least we'll we'll try. We'll try to work this. like that. Let's cut all of this. And we'll send it like that. This one we can cross. Good. Okay, nice. So now what we need, we need this. A little bit more beacons here. Not that it's really needed, but we need beacons for the other side. Like the part that's gonna this it's gonna go here. Because what I want, I want to reprocess the sigil gas from this side. And in addition to this, another thing that we'll be doing, we will be building this part, the purified water part. 
we are gonna be sending it from the side. Oh, I got this like that. Like, like this. Done. The only problem is that we don't really have a um, good water connection here. Let's try to place, let's try to copy this thing. Place it somewhere. And here. Let's see. Do that. I mean, okay, it's, it's fine. One, two, three, four. Right, and we'll need to figure out what to do with this one at some point. These are outputs. How far can we move this one? Can we up to there. Okay, good. And we need actually this line to be a little bit longer, not to be as short as it is right now. Now, what are our options here? Let's think. We can do something like that and connect it to the water from below. It means that we can move it up by two tiles, but that's pretty much it, right? We can copy it, well, cut it, I guess. Place it here. We'll move it by two tiles. This spot, this spot, this one and this. Let's press it. One, two, three, four. Good. And we'll extend it to the right. I, I guess. I think that would make a lot of sense. Oh, wait. Um, it's not great. I need to take all of this. Move it to the right, I think. One, two, three. Maybe we'll, maybe we should actually do it like this. Let's leave a little bit of space on that side. Um, copy it. We can do something like this. That is nice. It's gonna be how many? Seven plus seven. I kind of don't like that we don't have any space there. Uh, let's change. Let's change this. I'm gonna move it to the other side. I'm gonna move it back. And we'll probably be placing something... Um, right, that's like a very, very tight build. I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure I like how tight this build ends up being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right, and here we, want, we, we can have pretty much the same thing, right? We can have this one with the... Well, actually, the water can be given a little bit differently. What do we need here? We need a couple of things. We need to send um, what kind of to the left. That's the input that we'll need to process here. Here we could have smart logic with like some valves or whatever. Like there is space here for one extra valve, there is space for one extra valve or even here. So we, we can make uh, like some prioritization there, uh, if it is needed. Now, this one, this one, requires carbon. This one requires steam. How much steam do we want? Let's see. We want a lot of steam. And by a lot of steam, I mean health. Okay, 2.6 thousand. thousand. How much is that? 
come on. No way. No, no, no. Cannot, cannot be. have anything more compact. What if try to get this boiler? Oh, this boiler accepts modules. Oh. It's the same. Wait, does it accept modules? It doesn't accept modules. Hit change up. Okay, what if we took steam from our nuclear power? We're interested in two point six. Okay, this is better. Oh. Wait, it works? What about these boilers? Really? We can speed them up? Okay, that's good. Then we'll be using beacons. That's, that's it then. Then we don't care. We don't care about anything. Um... Right, how should we do that? Where is, where is our boiler? Yes, it's here. Right, here is the boiler. Here is the steam. We would want something like that. And we would want something like that. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> Pretty funny, in my opinion, what's what's happening here. Looks pretty funny, but all of this ends up being synthesis gas. You know, well, the three things, the three main outputs. So, I do not see where, where we would be using this process. This require catalysts. This ones require catalysts. I don't have, uh, I haven't left space for that at all, but we can like belt it somehow. And should be able to do so. Cannot build on water. What? Why? Oh, I see. Okay. That is indeed correct. We generally cannot build stuff in water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something's happening. Good, now this whole thing we can kind of copy it. Oh no. Almost. Okay, how do we fix this? How do we fix the problem? Interesting. That's not what I expected here. Completely not what I was expecting. Wait, but it won't help me. I need to move it to the right. I need to move this thing to the right. That means that I'm I'm basically losing access to those beacons. 
Um, let's think about this later. So now let's pick this part. I'm going to copy it a couple of times. Here, 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 and this, here, and this thing here. How many do we have? We have seven. So we have like seven copies of, of everything. Seven copies. Oh, just there. But is it just enough space to... We can make it much more compact. Right? If we moved it. So, this thing. Can we move it further? Yep. We can. So we can. Could have placed it like this. And then it would have been much more compact. So let's let's see. If you place this thing here. Yeah. This one here. This one here. It's kind of how I feel like that's what we want. I find that we just need to get some vertical um, space somewhere. One, two, one, two. And this here three. And then this allows us to do it, allows us to connect things like that. Actually, maybe even a little bit better. Now this part would go like that. Yeah. And we'll connect it like this. Kind of has a tiny problem this whole setup. The problem being that we cannot send 2.8 thousand of methane using this, like this way. But it has a benefit that it saves us two tiles. Like alternative uh, option, how would we consume methane? We would have to have this process. Like I, I don't know. I don't think we should be doing it here. I think we want to send methane to the left okay we want to send methane to the left this thing would be on this side no we just make it go around like that right? Let's see something like this would it help the station um oh just connect it directly like that that's even better and then we would have a pump pumps see them pump this kind of pump, I think right now we have only purple ones. You could have a pump going like this. Right? And sending stuff to the left. So it's going here. This thing going here. We'll figure out how exactly we'll be using those. Okay, let's delete. But okay, uh, I would like to get to like reach some kind of conclusion in this episode. I would like to see something running, like working. But I just Let's see. It. We, we, we did all of this to move stuff by two up, right? By two, one, two, and we want to place. Here. Why do we want to do that? Not clear. It's not clear why we want to do that. Now let's see. 
we have coal going down. It's all coal. We oh I haven't finished building this part. Right. Why do I want to have such connection here? Let's think. Why do I want that? I'm not sure I actually want that. But we have to do this or we or we can move this down a little bit and lose and lose beacon for this hydro plant. But the question is for this build for this build. Oh wait, for this one. Do we actually need to have a beacon here? We have three beacons. It's still less than seven, because we are going for seven here. If we have two. Okay, we, we just need three beacons to cover it. We need three beacons to cover, so how can we make sure that... Happens? We have one beacon here. We have second beacon here, so we already have two beacons. And we could have a third beacon on this side. One, two, three. And it's like this far. Well, I guess we, yeah, I guess we could do something like this. Let's, let's try. Again, one. Two. This becomes exactly there. Three, four. So we can remove this part and just copy this one a couple of times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? I think this is gonna work fine for us. Um, well, this part is gonna be a little, like, a lot more complicated. Okay, let's call things proper names. This part will be a lot more complicated because we actually need to uh, get carbon from the right. Can we? Oh no, it's not gonna be more complicated. Never mind that. Like, if you do it like this, then it's super, super straightforward. Yeah, very straightforward. Wait, this is carbon, right? And at the bottom, we want charcoal. This thing, how much charcoal is supposed to consume? is the process this one right it's like 20 charcoal it's, it's basically nothing you just drag it like this along the way and have an inserter working here or i don't know at any place really one two we could, we could have it here we have inserters just placed here we'll, we'll fix a little bit how uh, they will be working but the point is that we are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. <laughs> it's not a lot of space uh, left here. Uh -huh. Right. I think we we got to take a break. I think we have spent quite a bit of time in this uh, episode, and we didn't get 
the amount of purple science that we wanted to get. We don't have naphtha. Oh, we don't have naphtha. We don't have it. Uh, we... Well, at the very least, it's getting produced. It just... We are not producing a lot of it. We are producing naphtha, but not a lot of it. I would like to take a break at this point. Uh, let me just check that we can... Wait, why? Taking this as drop off position right there, and we'll picking things from there. I guess. Yeah, something like this. Right. So this way. Copy this. Right. It suddenly works. Well, it is gonna work. It's gonna work, and we still have some space here to do something. Um, not sure what, and I really hope that this is able to push 4,000 per second. So we have one, two, three tiles. It's gonna be pretty close, maybe three. If it's not enough, we can, I think, separate these three and like start pushing them in parallel. Oh no, we cannot, we don't have space for that. Um, we'll figure this out. We can, in theory, have a parallel a line pushing the gas, whatever we're producing here. Methane, I think. Yeah, this is going to be methane. We can push it here to the left and above to the left. There is enough room to do that. It's just going to be a little bit tricky. But it's totally doable. It's totally doable. It kind of even lines up nicely. So, here is our... Um, I don't know, something. <laughs> oh. One, two, three beacons. You said that three beacons are enough, right? So we'll check. Wait, if we don't have any beacons. Yeah. Three beacons. <laughs> exactly enough. So, that's um, what we managed to do in this episode. We've been trying to design a rubber build. I did promise that it's gonna take several episodes to, <laughs> to do it because I'm not that fast with designs as you probably have noticed by now. Uh, let's take a break here. Thank you very much for following the series and for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you in the next one. Cheers!